Hello guys and welcome back. Today I have another beast class setup. In this case we are talking about the FAD assault rifle. This thing is a proper beast. In this video you will understand why I think the FAD is a really good compromise to the Remington R5 or the AK-12, what I think is the best class setup for this weapon and why, and also just a few tips to better use this weapon and the kind of strategy you should apply when using it. The gameplay that you're seeing in the background is me going 29 and 3 with this amazing weapon on one of the new Invasion DLC maps, Pharaoh, the FAD. For some reason I never used this gun until probably 2 weeks ago. I don't really know why, but I was never interested in it. Probably the biggest reason behind it is that pro players do not use it at all. For this reason, this class setup will be nicknamed the underdog. In this setup, I decided to go for the silencer and the grip as attachments. Nothing for my secondary lethal and tactical equipment. The perks that I decided to go with are ready up, quick throw, takedown, dead silence, focus and fully loaded. First of all, Ready up is essential when playing Call of Duty Ghost. As you all know, you die way too fast, so you need to be ready ASAP to kill the enemy that pops around the corner. Ready up basically gives your soldier a boost of confidence, making him run around the map with his fingers attached to the trigger of his weapon. This makes you shoot faster and, therefore, survive. Quick throw I find it essential in any class setup in Ghost. Whether it's a sniping or a shotgun class setup, quick throw needs to always be present. While on SMGs, it can be replaced by more skilled players with other perks, on assault rifle, it's a must. You want to be the first to pull up the weapon and shoot to the enemy's head. By quick throw with ready up, plus a little bit of good aim, and you will have the perfect combo to get the headshot you've always been dreaming of. The next perk I decided to use is takedown. This perk allows you to kill enemies without revealing their death location. Probably one of the most underrated perks in all of the game. Focus is another fundamental perk. It allows your soldier to maintain a calm and steady aim also while he's being shot at. This is a perk particularly indicated to all those who still don't feel completely comfortable with the game or the weapon. More skilled players can use slate of hand to secure themselves with a deadly easy to reload weapon. One of the FAD's biggest characteristics is that it has a fairly decent amount of bullets in this magazine. By equipping fully loaded, our weapon will never be out of ammo. The next coming up is Dead Silence. Being sound such an important feature within Cut Ghost, being able to transform yourself from a giant panda into a puma is a huge advantage. This will let you sneak around corners with your weapon ready up to shoot to the victims that will be in your side. The best thing is that, since you also equip takedown on silencer, the enemy will have no option but to look on the minimap to spot you. It will be in that exact moment that you will use the firing power and your ready low recoil of this weapon to actually and gently suppress it. The score streaks I decided to go for are my usual IMS, Sentry and Chopper. I find them pretty easy to stack up and they provide a decent amount of kills without revealing your location. This is usually my try-hard sweatpants setup. I use it basically only when my team is losing really badly or if there are trash talkers in the enemy team. I use my MS and sentry to gain map control. If you place them correctly, after the first time the enemy dies of it, he will not come back from that same route. It basically acts as an insurance. It narrows the routes the enemy team can pick and it also covers your six if you stay nearby them. The best thing about the AMS is that people are always certain they can take it down before it takes them down. For this reason, the AMS, if well placed, can provide an absurd amount of kills, especially since it's a 5 kills score streak. The chopper is used just to give them the final KO. When the enemy team sees that there is a chopper in the air, one side of the map is completely locked down by equipment such as IMS and sentries, and the other routes are covered by players with a decent aim and a big magazine, there is nothing left they can do. This was my beast class setup for the underdog FAD assault rifle. If you want to get even better and improve beast class setup for Ghost, click subscribe to remain updated. Also remember to leave a like and give me some kind of feedback to let me understand that you truly enjoyed what you just saw. If you have any suggestions on what other class I should post or on how to post better content for you guys, please remember to leave a comment down below. 
that's it guys as always madness here and bye bye